Either wine one. tested. I like either one. Did you want to try it? Oh, no. I, I know what I want. The red is better. Well, yeah. I like the red better. You like the bush? Yeah. Okay. After experiencing back-to-back -back defeats, promoter Frank Warren has urged and begged Kell Brook to consider retirement. Now, it's going to be very emotional for Kell Brook to make that decision right now. Um, he's probably in his feelings. He's feeling kind of salty. He's bitter. He hurt that he lost in front of all of his fans in Sheffield. So I don't want him to make an emotional decision off of emotion. So he really needs to sit down, consider his family. After all, he has an obligation to himself and his family to make the right decision. He's been talking about fighting Amir Khan next, but I think that would be an awful move considering Amir Khan has brutal power, devastating hand speed, tremendous blistering hand speed. And you, we, all, we all know he's going to target that eye injury. He's coming right after the eye injury, and he's going to put Kell Brook in a permanent state of disability and blindness. And there's nothing cool. I've never heard anyone say, man, you know it's cool. I can't see, man. That shit real cool. It ain't nothing cool about being in your old age and being blind. Walking around, you can't even pour yourself a glass of milk. Ain't shit cool about that. So Kell Brook needs to make the right decision for himself and his family and really listen to the words of Frank Warren and consider retirement. You're coming off back-to-back -back broken orbital bones, first by Gennady Golovkin. Now, another broken orbital bone by Errol Spence. So Kell Brooks, he's in a tough position. I don't know where he goes from here. I think he needs to retire. You guys let me know what y'all think. Should Kell Brook retire or continue fighting with the eye injury? Drop me a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe. I'm out.